you gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. It's time to get it moving, y'all. Step up your game. You gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. Motivate. Get up and keep moving. Celebrate this life is no illusion. Demonstrate the skills you've been using. And everybody get up and get up. Hey, welcome back to yet another review by Zombie. In today's review, we're going to take a look at some juice. A couple of different lines. Because this is going to be a two-part review. And this comes from France. From a company called The Foo. You can find them at thefoo.com. So you know how we roll, peeps. We're going to take a look at their website. We're going to get some pricing information. Then we're going to come back and we're going to have that big vape session. On four juices, one from the regular line and three from their arcane line. So let's have a quick two, then we'll get on our way. And welcome to the online tutorial for the food. Now let's take a look at their website. You can find the foo at thefoo.com and that's F-U-U -U, as you can see right here. <clears throat> now automatically when you go to their site because it is because they are based out of France it will be in French. So, unless you can read French, there is a way to change it, to convert it to English, which they have right up here. If you click on the British flag, that will change it to English. And voila, we have changed to English. As you can see right here, they have different categories. <clears throat> they have their electronic cigarette lines that are all self-branded the food. They have their e-liquids, which we'll get into here in a minute, as that is what these reviews are about. They do carry, you know, different parts and accessories. And they also have DIY section to where they carry nicotine, uh, PG and VG base. <clears throat> then, of course, they have stuff that explains all their equipment and the food network. And they also have a store locator for where they have their stores. Now, let's take a look at their e liquid line. They have a plethora of different e-juices to choose from, as you can see. A new revolution, an old resolution. So let's take a look at their classic line, their original line, <coughs> which only comes in 10 mil bottles. Now this is just an example. You can see Ghetto Gourmet. They have Nick drinks of 0, 8, and 16, which breaks down into 6 euros and 50 pence. I believe that's the symbol for euros. And then their other line is their Arcane line, which comes in 20 mil bottles. And again, 0, 8, and 16. <clears throat> and that will cost you 15 euros. 
and <clears throat> I do believe, <clears throat> excuse me, and I do believe that the arcane line is specifically meant for rebuildables. And that will do it for the brief online tutorial for the food. Now, back to the review. Before I start, I must point out I did receive these free of charge for the purpose of conducting a review, but my opinion of the product will remain true, honest, and accurate as a funky dwarf. Now let's take a look at their label real quick here. So you can see down there at the bottom it says nicotine 8 milligrams per milliliter and it says lot which is their batch number that they did and this was done on or this will expire on 10 of 2015 and they have some warnings on the back which basically says danger and it has um, it's written in French <laughs> I can't read that um, but the ingredients say propylene glycol 60% and their vegetable glycerin is 40% so it's a 60-40 and their that says some French words and then nicotine right but you can pretty much figure out the wording that's on the label so and I had Funky Dwarf loaded up in my IGOW5 which I have dual microcooled to 0.4 ohms yeah I know I kind of went low on this build, but you know, I did it for the hell of it, so. And I have that on my 26650 Black Copper Stingray. So let's have the. There I am. <laughs> so, Funky Dwarf is basically, I don't actually know what they have in this, but I can taste mint. So there's mint in something else. Um, according to their website description, it says floral musk. But this is a very enjoyable vape. First one I've ever had that's like this, and that's truly unique. You know, um, Funky Dwarf, really, really good. I'm going to give the flavor profile on this a 9 out of 10. And it is, it's enjoyable, uh, an all-day vape. And I'm going to give the throw hit on this. I'm going to give it a mild, so I'll give it a 6 out of 10. And, of course, the vape production, 9 out of 10. Now we're going to take a look at their Arcane line, which right now all they have is three on our Arcane line, as I showed you in the online tutorial. So, this one here is Lady G, which on their website is listed as Lady G942, if I remember correctly. And the label on this, this is a 20 mil bottle, and it is glass bottom is really thick too and of course you can tell it's dark the caps on these things are really good child proof you can see there of course you're going to either have to pour this into a small, smaller bottle or use a syringe now the label on this of course has the logo for the arcane and it also says I guess Pew import le flacon and de gout flore or x flumers. So now I have it loaded in my IGO T, which I have dual microcoil 2.5 ohms, and I have that on my black copper stinger, of course, again. So let's have a baby.
Now, Lady G is a, is a mixture. I can taste lime in here, but I can also taste Earl Grey tea. So, here again, for the tea enthusiast, this is definitely something you should get. It's a very pleasant vape. Is it an all-day vape? To me, personally, not to me. Personally, this is not my kind of vape. Um, but for the flavor profile, I will say that because of its uniqueness, I'll give that an 8 out of 10. And the, the throat hit on this is it's a mild going into a little bit of harshness, so I'm going to give it a 6 to 7. So in the middle there, so 6.5. And big production on this. Trying to figure out. Okay, these are 60-40 as well. So, vape production on this, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Very, very big for it. So, the next one up on the list is called Dijin. Now, when I when I seen this, when I first seen this, I, I couldn't help but think <clears throat> uh, Aladdin and the Lamp, you know, because of gins. Um, so now I have the gin loaded up in my uh, Igo L, which is mega micro coiled, of course. And let me turn this on. And I have it on my Bobo. And I have it set for 15 watts. Now, <clears throat> when I first started vaping this, I really didn't know what to think because I get ginger and I get citrus. Now, personally, I've never been a fan of ginger, okay? But, you know, I kind of vaped this a little bit more and I vaped it a little bit more and I vaped a little bit more and I find myself, I found myself starting to like it even more and more, you know? It's really good. And because I think the reason why is because the other thing that's in it is citrus. Now, what kind of citrus? I don't really know. But it's really a good mix. So I got to give this one a 9 out of 10. It's really, really enjoyable. And the, the throw hit on this. The throw hit on this, I'm going to say that the throw hit on this is about a 7 out of 10. It's a little bit harsher than the rest of what I vaped by the food. But vapor, vapor production, I'm going to say, is a 9 out of 10. Very consistent. Very so the last one we're going to look on part 1 is called Trinitario. Or is it Trinitario? I know one of those two pronunciations is correct. Um, what Trinitario stands for, I don't know. Um, now I have it loaded up in my 3D dripper on my Nemesis, and I have my 3D dripper dual microcool to about point seven yeah, 0.7 ohms now this one I'm in love with this one to me is the 
best out of everything the food sent to me. And they sent me quite a bit. This is a chocolate vape. This is like a, it's almost like a triple chocolate vape. Because, you know, when I vape it the first time, it tasted like a milk chocolate. Then I vape it the second time, and it tasted like a dark chocolate. And then I vaped it again, and I could swear I was hitting white chocolate. So, this has got to be a triple chocolate. Um, for that, because it's really the only chocolate vape that I've found that I really enjoy, as much as this, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. And the throat hit, you know, the throat hit on this one isn't mild. It's a little bit more harsher than mild, so i got to give it a 7 out of 10. And that might be because of the PG. I don't know. But nonetheless, the vapor production on this one, Pretty damn good. So I'll get the baby production on this one. Uh, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 because it's consistent and there's, it's pretty plentiful. And there you have it, my peeps. That's four from the Foo, which you can find at thefoo.com. And you can also find them on their Facebook, which is right there. Uh, personal thanks goes out to the owner of the Foo for sending these on to me. Stay tuned for part two because that will be coming up next. I hope you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe to my YouTube. And as always, my peeps and peepets, happy vaping.